All right, we are back again, 2015 NAB show with another episode of Anthony Hits the Couch, and we have a return guest, one of my favorites, Ryan Salazar from Broadcast Beat Magazine. Always a pleasure. How you doing, sir? To have you back, and it's, I hate calling it Broadcast Beat Magazine because it's so much more, it's like an empire now. So <laughs> before we dive into all things show, since we saw you here on the same couch last year, it looks like they cleaned it, hopefully. <laughs> since we saw you last year, like Broadcast Beat has grown so much. Let's hear about it. Yeah, so last uh, NAB, we had about 250,000 uh, visitors to the site. Now we're probably pushing five to 600,000 this month. Um, so we've just blown up. We've got a, a little over 50,000 followers on Twitter. And um, oh, last, last NAB, we had 37 million impressions on, on Twitter too. That was really awesome. Well, so not so. just your presence, but you guys have a studio now? Yeah, Full yeah. Full service? Okay. Right, so we've got a, a 3,000 square foot facility. Um, that facility is literally just built to do product reviews and talk about industry best pra practices. Nice. So if we want to talk about asset management or uh, you know cameras, talk about lenses, whatever, we've got mm -hmm. a 30-foot green screen, 20-foot white screen, nice. robotic cameras. Um, oh, it's pretty awesome. A, a full control room. So I actually modeled it after a, after a television station. Very cool. Yeah, it's a mini TV station, basically. So you've got this great studio space to review gear. We're at NAB show. What, what are you looking to get in the studio and review? Um, <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, I don't know if I can get it in the studio, but Accelerated Media Technologies, they have this really cool Jeep. It's a weather Jeep. And, mm -hmm. and these guys, they, they buy automobiles for their clients, like TV stations, and then they, they, they tear them up and they rebuild them and they put the equipment and they sell the equipment and everything. So anyways, this particular Jeep I saw um, was a weather Jeep. And uh, you basically, the weatherman goes in the Jeep, he hits number one, two, three, or four, which selects cameras inside the Jeep. They're all broadcast HD cameras. Mm -hmm. Or he selects the one on top and then just says what he wants to see. And oh, it's, it's freaking amazing. It's pretty intense, we'll yeah. have to check that out. So what, what is the Broadcast Beat audience clamoring for? What are they asking you to see? What are they looking at? I mean, a lot of our folks are, you know, post-production background or broadcast background. The post folks are really into creative cloud mm -hmm. type stuff. Um, and, and they're really into the black magics of the world and AJA video, that kind of stuff. Yep. So. And we were at Supermeet last night, and uh, we covered that event as well. And that was quite exciting. A lot of our audience was there. So, so. tell me about your team here. At, what does it take for Broadcast Beat to cover NAB show? Well, so we actually have a booth this year. Mm -hmm. um, we've got. number? SL 15217. Nice. And um, we've got 26 people, four film crews, uh, a whole bunch of uh, so social media folks. We're all tapped into the same uh, deal. Mm -hmm. It's all kind of coordinated together. We've got writers on hand and or locally and off site that are helping us. So we're doing live tweeting. I'm sorry, live blogging. So nice. when we post stuff to Instagram, We've got writers watching literally for 14 hours a day, and then they're posting them, and we're doing a chronological story. So by the end of the day, we have about about 14 hours of a day wrap up. So day one, day two, day three, and day four, and and it turns into a real cool story. That's yeah. awesome. What um what are you doing to survive this year? I know yoga, coffee. What else? <laughs> what, what what are the Ryan Sal's tips to surviving NAB? Oh my gosh. Uh, well, yeah, it's. it's Basically the same comf stuff. Comfy yeah, shoes. I, it's a little crazy this year because uh, now we've, we've got all these people. So it used to be just little old Ryan, you know, like hitting the show floor with you guys and NAB Show Live and everything. Yep. And now it's it's Ryan and then all, all kinds of other people. It's a lot we of. We can't walk the halls without seeing a T-shirt. Yeah, I know. I know. We would I, like a T-shirt. I did that on purpose. I've got yep. some in the booth. Yeah. Nice. That's how I roll. Very cool, very cool. So, <laughs> so what's next? What's next for Ryan and what's next for Broadcast Beat? Um, well, we, I don't know if you know, we launched a uh, digital magazine. So that mm -hmm. is going to start to blow up really big. Our, our NAB edition was 160 pages. And um, so I'm hoping to make that a lot bigger for the following, you know, the, the, the next NAB. Awesome. And, and have a bigger presence here next year. Any tips for people that are, are reading Broadcast Beat and they want to come next year and they're not sure if they should come to the show, is it worth it? Oh, you should certainly come. I mean, I, I've only been going to NAB, it, believe it or not, about five or six years, something mm -hmm. like that. And um, I, I, this is like home to me now. Yeah. I can't not come well, you're, here. You're, you're a fixture. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, you know, I've learned so much coming here. And there's so much that I don't know that I want to learn, you know, with, with folks like you and everything. So mm -hmm. it's, it's really exciting to come here. Awesome. Well, we hope to see you both here next year. Ryan, always a Thanks, pleasure. Man. And real quick, if they want to check out Broadcast Beat, where do they go to do that? Oh, yeah. So uh, go to broadcastbeat.com, uh, at Broadcast Beat for Twitter, and, uh, or, or just Google us. You can Google me, too. Cool. <laughs> All right. We'll see you back on the couch. See you later. Cool.